Hi everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making creamy spinach chicken. If you love cream spinach, cheese, and chicken, you'll love this. So let's get started. So you want to season the chicken to your liking. I used kosher salt, pepper, and chili powder. I seasoned it on both sides and I'm using thinly sliced chicken breast, but you may use chicken breast or even chicken thighs if you prefer. I cooked the chicken breast over high heat because I just wanted the chicken to have a nice color. If it isn't fully cooked through, it'll finish cooking in the sauce later on. So about two to three minutes on each side and it should be pretty well cooked because they're so thin. All right, so for the spinach, I just heated a large skillet with some olive oil. I covered it and let it wilt for about three minutes. Spinach cooks really quickly and you want to just stir occasionally, cook it just a little more until it looks like this. Then you want to remove it from the skillet, let it cool just a bit, and then give it a rough chop. Go ahead and cook the onions for about three minutes or until they're nice and translucent in the same skillet that you cook the spinach. Add the fresh garlic, you may add some red chili flakes at this point, but I season the chicken with plenty chili, so I skipped out on the flakes. I threw in some butter, let it melt completely. And when cooking savory dishes, you may use whatever butter you have on hand, unsalted or salted, doesn't matter because you control the salt anyway. I threw in some all-purpose flour, Mix it in, cook it for about 30 seconds to get that raw taste out, and then you want to pour in the milk while you whisk. So the butter and flour combine together, it's known as a roux, and that is what will help the milk thicken. Without it, it will not thicken up. Go ahead and add the spinach, go ahead and mix everything well, and then you want to turn off the heat and add whatever type of cheese you'll be using. I use gorgonzola and I highly recommend it, but if you have cream cheese or even mozzarella on hand, that will work as well. So at this point, your sauce should taste like nothing because we haven't seasoned anything. But now is the time to add a generous sprinkling of salt and pepper. Make sure to season after adding the cheese because cheese has salt. Go ahead and place the chicken back into the skillet. And because the chicken I used is fairly thin, it was completely cooked. So I just simmered the chicken in the sauce for about two minutes to warm it up and for the sauce to thicken even more. So smother that chicken and let it simmer for a minute or two or until the chicken is fully cooked through. This is what the chicken looked like. Next time I make this, I will add mushrooms and artichokes. This was very, very delicious. The chicken was super tender. I didn't even need a knife. The recipe is waiting for you, so hurry up and make this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I want to thank you all so much for watching.